Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with Texas Fish Tips, this is your weekly fishing report. All right, you spring breakers, there's some good fish right along these pilings right here at Island on uh, Martin Midstream right down through here. Uh, Fina dogs all down through here, they're catching them on shrimp. Lots of she uh, sheep's head, there's redfish, there's big trout, there's even a few Spanish mackerel and pompanoes showing up there eating shrimp. Uh, but there's some good fish here when the current is not too strong. If you get over here, these rocks start right here at Klein's Landing, all the way down. You can hold some nice redfish. Incoming tide's been the best. Uh, shrimp or even finger mullet or cut perch, working pretty good. Get out here on the end of these south jetties. <clears throat> you can fish either inside or outside of the jetties, either one. If you're walking, uh, sometimes that outside of the jetties works the best. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of people trying to crowd each other. But live shrimp is your best bet. If you can't get any live shrimp, put them in a baggie and keep them on ice, and they'll stay good and fresh real well for you. Uh, but there's a lot of sheep's head out there. There's Spanish mac. There's pompano. There's a lot of nice redfish off the end of that jetty, about 25, 35 foot of water, and a lot of bull reds too. So if you want to go get you a bull red, it's time to go get them. Same way on that north jetty. You can get anywhere all the way down through these rocks, all the way to this corner, all the way into those jetties, anywhere it has been holding some fish. Uh, and they're right up next to the rocks. You don't necessarily have to go out in the middle of the channel. They're right up next to the rocks. If it's too windy and you got a boat, get on the inside of these north side of that north jetty right here. Anywhere's down through here, and there's some good fish, and also it won't be too bumpy on you. But there's a lot of good fish to be had. And if you need to go over here in the Lady Anne Channel, there's a SS Worthington ship right in through here. There's some buoys right here. It shows it. There's some good sheep set on there, some black drum, and a couple of big trout been hanging off of from what I understand. And they like shrimp. Same thing, if you get some finger mullet, that'll work too. Uh, but the sheep's head and the drum, they like that shrimp. Okay, guys, going to Piper Channel. Anywhere's down through here, you can tie up to these little markers or anywhere's down that edge, and there's a good place to catch your redfish. The redfish are on the edges, not in the middle of the channel. That's where you catch your hardheads. If you're catching hardheads all the time, that's what you're doing. It's on too deep of water. There's a little S-curve right here. It's been holding some nice redfish. We had some big sheep's head and some redfish and flounder out of there the other day. So there's some good fish all to be had through here. Anywhere's down through here. And there's a big bowl out right here. You fish either side. There's plenty of room for several boats. Uh, and just fish along the edges. Do not throw in the middle of the channel. Throw on the edges of the channel. But there's some good fish. There's sheep's head. There's black drum. Uh, and if you got some crab bites, fish bites, put them on there with that shrimp and drum like that. Okay, you get on the back side of Point of Mustang and right in here, there's been some good redfish up on this bank on that south wind. Anywhere's down through here on East Flats. Been holding some nice redfish. If you want to go wade fishing, it's a great place to go. There's lots of little spots that you can get in and get out. There's deep water next to it. But if you really want some black drum, go right down this channel, right down this deep hole by these little houses, and there's some black drum in there. They like to hang on those pilings. They like to hang on those edges. But there is some black drum in there, and on the edges is also some redfish. Also right next to these mangroves, if you've got a skinny water boat, those black drum like hanging up in there, and they like that live shrimp. All right, out here in the middle of Corpus Christi Bay, there's some wells. They don't have a lot of trout, but they do have a lot of big sheep's head. Some of them up to 10 pounds. Yeah, there's some big, big sheep's head out here. Uh, if it's not too windy, get out here. And there has been a few trout I caught along some of these rigs in this area. I haven't tried these for the trout over here, but there has been some really big trout, I mean really big sheep's head in this area. There's some black drum mixed in on some of those bigger rigs, but any of those rigs can hold the sheep's head. It's all structure and there's lots of good fishing in there. And then if I don't do it for you, get over to Ingleside. Uh, anywhere's right down through here is gonna hold some nice trout and a few nice reds along the edge of this, especially if it's windy. You can anchor up any of these little points like right here is a real good one and find those bald spots. Those are potholes. Throw your bait into it. Cut mullet's been working pretty good. Cut fin perch. Shrimp, if you want to try it, but you're gonna get a lot of perch now and they're starting to get a few hard heads mixed in there as well. Anywhere's down through here, these little bays and areas down through here, and plus these rocks that's not shown right here, it's been holding some nice redfish. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.